Oh, we've got mail. How did I miss the mail? Uh, I'm researching the forgotten art of shadow divination. I require an item known as a void essence. Bring it to me and you'll be rewarded. Alright, I can do that. I never go and visit him anyway, so I guess it's worth a try. Worth a try. As if, like, I have to try and visit him. Like a bad, or like a relative that you just don't want to see anymore. It's like, oh, I'll try and visit, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to winter. Fortune teller. Uh, spirits are in good humor. That's good for mining, potentially. Living off the land. There's a couple of fish that can only be found in winter. Squid and lingcod. Squid can be caught from the ocean. Yeah, we've already caught those. <laughs> Thanks, guy, but we already know about that. So, um, I would go mining today, actually, but we have enough gold and we have enough iridium. And by gold, I mean money. We have enough money and enough iridium to upgrade our pickaxe today. And I think that is going to be what I want to do instead. First, of course, I will check the greenhouse because I could have sworn that the beets should be ready to harvest. Oh, these look more harvestable. Oh, these are rhubarb, not beets. Oh, okay. But more importantly, it looks like our star fruit. Oh, yes, they're ready to harvest. Um, I'm not going to harvest them straight away, though. I am going to get my pepper poppers going. Oh man, that, that beat thing has actually kind of annoyed me. Uh, I thought that, I thought that, oh, oh well, dish of the, wait, do I not have pepper poppers? Am I gonna have to make more? Uh, pepper poppers, like I said, I like doing the pepper popper thing. Wait, hang on. I need, I actually need to go get a hot pepper. Um, I like doing hot pep, uh, pepper poppers because it gives you extra farming skill, uh, which is great. So let's go get one of those. And, okay, so I don't know if I can, buy beets? Oh yeah, you can. You can buy beets from Sandy, which uh, I guess is going to have to be what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, so like I said, you get the speed boost and you get the farming plus two, which means that we should hopefully get extra high quality star fruit here, which is going to be great. The one thing I must say, oh no, don't want to eat that, eat that. The one thing I must say that I do not like about the console versions of the game is that Harvesting stuff is a lot more of a pain than in the PC one because in the PC one if you just like stand in the middle of like a 3 by 3 square uh, Then you can you can harvest all nine like just by clicking and dragging which is great Well, you can't really do that on the console ones unless you have like ridiculously high motor control skills um, With the right analog stick so yeah, but these star fruit are gonna be worth a pretty penny um I'm tempted to keep some back for uh, turning into wine and pickles. At the same time, I could really do with the money, so I think I'm going to sell them all. Um, no, I'm not going to sell them all. I'm going to put some, some normal quality one into the wine and the pickle jars, which is going to be great. Um, these normal quality ones as well, I'm going to keep it on me. The other ones, I'm just going to go, th I'm going to throw straight in there. I can't remember if I need rhubarb for anything. Um, I'm actually going to quickly check that. Okay, so I need to keep one rhubarb, that's all, uh, for a recipe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep one and pop it in the chest, probably. Oh, I do have a lava eel to make some spicy eels, that's pretty good. Okay, um, what else? Well, obviously, we're going to need to have to go to... And, oh, by the way, the, these other star fruit, I'm just going to sell straight to Pierre. Um, okay, so is it anyone's birthday? I don't think so. Um, we've got a bit of a speed boost, which is nice. Um, let's go see if there's any quests, any birthdays, which we can do today. Uh, I need to go see Clint. Uh, Sebastian wants an emerald, 750 on delivery, definitely. That sounds like a good money. No one's, that sounds like a good money. No one's birthday today, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to go grab an emerald. Um, I need to fill up the greenhouse again. And I think I'm just going to go star fruit again, honestly. It's, they're third, they take 13 days. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, probably in here. Okay, and let's also get my iridium. Five iridium bars. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's upgrade that today. Okay, bit of a plan then. 
Um, oh, I'll tell you what I want to do with some of my money as well from these star fruit. This is why I'm keeping some. Obviously, I'm going to need some money to, um, to buy more star fruit seeds. Um, I'm actually going to go see Sebastian first because obviously the uh, he has store can wait. Was that him over there? No, that was a rabbit. Uh, um, yeah, obviously I need to buy some more starfruit seed because that's going to be where we get a lot of money from. Uh, but I want to buy the tree saplings today and potentially maybe set up my uh, my permanent tree farm or fruit farm. Oh, we got a cutscene. Oh, it's Sam and it's uh, it's Sebastian as well. Hey, Dazza. Hey, how's it going? Sam and I were about to play Sal Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Sure, okay. I'll teleport to the seat. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Alright. Whoop. Hmm. It looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. Alright. Cool. Dazza, are you ready to choose your character? Warrior, I like a direct approach. Healer, I prefer to help others. Wizard, a sharp mind is the most powerful blade of all. Ooh, let's go warrior. Good choice. Warrior is probably the easiest for beginners. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck with the healer. Everyone loves being the healer. Let's begin. Alright. Oh, here we go. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian Staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure the place in the Hall of Legends as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out into the uh, onto a precipice, 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 I guess, to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarf usurps the power of the sto stolen Solarian Staff for his vile purposes. All right, calm down. Go in the front, fortune favors the bold. Search for a back entrance, let's remain hidden. Yeah, let's search for a back entrance. Yeah, look at that. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trapdoor hidden in the brush. Beneath is a ladder, which you part, uh, which your party descends. Which you partly descend? That makes no sense. Oh, great, sewer. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To the right, a staircase leads up into the dark. I want to go to the left. I don't know why. Oh, that looks weird. You're in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in a strange glowing capsule. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? Um, destroy the capsules. Alright, smack. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. Okay. This is interesting. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. Time has come to face Dreadlords off. Alright, what's he look like? He's got a big bushy beard. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, you've come for the Solarian staff. Hehe, <laughs> fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Oh, okay. There's muttering an incantation. Use a shield to defend your fr let's Let's defend the friends. Zarf casts Shadow Bolt at Sebastian, but you raise your shield just in time to deflect the attack. Bink. <laughs> As Zarf prepares another spell, you charge forward and strike him down with your sword. He dead. The Solarian staff glows peacefully as you hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. Alright, cool. You finish the scenario with B rating. Oh, there's different ratings. Okay. Cool. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Yay, I'm good at video games, even though that's not a video game, that's a board game. Thanks for dropping by, I'll see you later. Oh, okay, I guess you're just kicking me out. But you wanted an emerald, didn't you? That's the whole reason why I came down here. No, I'm not going to eat the star fruit. You're still in bed, take this emerald. And give me 750, how do you have 750 gold anyway? Like, sheesh. Okay, up next on the hit list is uh, tools. Let's go see Clint. And then, on the way back, is when we will figure out... Oh, I should have bought my Iridium eggs. <laughs> it's, it's really tough knowing what to take with you and what not to take with you every single day. It's going to be tough, I think, for me to level up relationships that aren't so easy to do. Such as, you know, Alex. Because I, oh, I can't get down here either, can I? Nope. Yeah, such as Alex's um, uh, or, uh, relationship with Alex, you know. 
but it doesn't matter. It's all part of the game, I guess. I would like to try and max everyone out in this playthrough, so fingers crossed I can do that. Alright, Clint, give me back my watering can. Fantastic. Alright, so next up, we of course are going to do the pickaxe. That's going to take a while, and that took all of our money, pretty much, except for 4,000 gold. But oh boy, when those star fruits sell tonight, we are going to get a boatload of money, which would be very nice. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to sell the rest of these uh, star fruit to Pierre directly so that I can buy some stuff off him in return. Um, let's go for all of the 20,000. Okay, there you go. We got all of our money back. Uh, so we want. I want to prioritize the spring ones, which are, um, yeah, apricot and cherry. So I want two of each, which is uh, oh, half of our money gone already, which kind of stinks, but doesn't matter. Next up, let's go into the, uh, the, the desert and buy some more things off Sandy. In fact, while we're there, we may as well take her a gift. Um, so Sandy, if I remember correctly, she really loves the the like flowers you can forage um during the the different seasons uh, probably the crystal fruit as well actually i can't remember um but for some reason sweet pea is always one that stuck out to me and there's a maple syrup there ready to be harvested which is great we'll definitely take that well on the way back all right so a little bit more gold has gone from our bank account but that is fine first things first let's make sure we give this to sandy so that she'll be happy with us, and then maybe she'll give us a discount. I doubt it. You look like you're parched. I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. Get flowers from the valley. Her favorite things. We can buy beets from here. That's great. I'm going to buy three sprinklers worth, which I guess 24. Um, and then the starfruit seeds. I don't actually know how many of these I need. I, I've only got enough for 34. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess I'm getting 34. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's disappointing. I thought I had more money. I, oh, I guess obviously like uh, the iridium, the iridium pickaxe. Yeah, that that's gonna cost a lot of money. All right, let's grab our maple seed or maple seed, maple uh, syrup. There we go, lovely. We're gonna need that for uh, bee houses, of course. We want lots of bee houses. Okay, so first things first, in fact, only, oh, wait, no, I, I'm stupid, oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, well, let's go in here, I'll tell you why I'm stupid. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to grab my uh, fertilizer. The reason why I'm stupid is because I might need to destroy some stones. Um, oh, we've only got 45, that'll be fine. Yeah, I might need to destroy some stones in order to um, clear out this section where I want to put my trees. However, I can't clear out the stones because I got rid of my pickaxe today. And that's why I'm stupid. Anyway, <laughs> luckily our soil is already um, already watered. We just need to fertilize it first. Uh, so if there's 34 seeds, that is four sprinklers worth and then two seeds after that. So let's go like this. And two up there. I mean, we can plant other stuff if we really want to. But for now, this shall suffice. Suffice, say. Okay. Put those in there. I mean, I really don't know what else I could grow in here, to be honest. And there we go. I mean, what else do I have in terms of seeds? Amaranth? Not really. Don't really want to do any of those. Uh, it'll be fine. Okay. So. Uh, here we go. I guess I could always use bombs but I'm gonna clear out this section of land and this is probably gonna take me the rest of the day which kind of stinks but it's a necessary evil um, this is where I want to plant all of my saplings for my fruit trees so fingers crossed I can at least get the, the spring ones down um, if not eh, it might take a little bit longer for them to grow because uh, some stones might be in the way. In fact, I can I can see right now that there is stones in the way. Um, yeah, of exactly where I want the spring ones to go. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna chop down some some stuff, and I will be right back. I could use bombs to destroy some stone. That might not be a bad idea. Anyway, yeah, I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm going to use a single bomb. By the way, of course, that took way longer than it should have done. I can't believe I'm bombing my farm. <laughs> Not something I thought I'd be doing this episode. Um, but yeah, that took way longer than I thought it would. And, oh, we got some weathered floor. I guess we blew up a bit of our path, but that's fine. Uh, so, the way I want to lay this out, if I stand here... Okay, so... I know that this spot here is where I want one of my trees. Now, do I want apricots or cherries to be closest? I guess apricot. Boom, there. Uh, and you need to leave two spaces in between each tree. Otherwise, it won't grow. So, I think there. Okay, cool. Again, two spaces between each tree. So, I think there. And then, oh boy. <laughs> um... Uh, right there. Too close to another tree. Okay, so I have to chop that one down. And probably get rid of that seed. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's too close to, like, a rock or anything. But if it's too close to another uh, tree, it'll tell you. Did I put that in the wrong space? Uh, I just wasted, like, 2,000 gold. <laughs> uh, I think that's in the wrong space. It was difficult to tell. I, like... I still can't tell. I, I think that's in the wrong space. Because these are all... I don't know. It's difficult to tell. Um, so, like, if I was to hoe there... Um, oh, I... Okay, so if... Yeah, let's go with the line like this. Okay, and then another one. Okay, so I actually think we're all right there. Because if I was to hoe across here, then this is only one space there. So I think that tree is all right where it is. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. Uh, obviously, we're just going to need to get rid of those stones in order to actually um, grow the trees. But that was uh, an interesting day. It, it wasn't really interesting. I mean, did I just put a pine cone in there? I did. I don't want the pine cone in there. I wanted to the clay in there. It wasn't a very important day, but it means that we're going to be getting stuff soon, which is good. Oh, we've got loads of wood now, though. Oh, we can oh, we don't have any money. Oh, we're about to get money. It's fine. <laughs> I haven't even sorted out my animals yet today. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible farmer. I don't think I can milk my animals if they're sleeping, can I? Is that considered, like, animal abuse or something? Hey, give me some milk. Oh, I can. And I can still pet them as well. I'm trying to sleep. I can't milk you. Uh, I was trying to sleep. So if I milk you, then I can... No, I can't pet you afterwards. That is fine. I'll just milk you. <laughs> it's okay. Milking some sleeping cows. Um, won't be able to pet the chickens. But that is fine. Put that in there and that. There we go. Quite low on energy. Probably because we spent it all chopping trees down. But that's fine. Wow, look at all of our fence posts are destroyed. It makes me sad. All these... Oh, quack. Hee <laughs> hee. Fetcho is trying to sleep. Um, okay, I'll grab that void egg back there. Definitely want to make void mayonnaise. Oh, no. Yeah, I definitely do want to make void mayonnaise. Okay, there we go. And, of course, feed the chickens and the duck. And, oh, it's interesting. The little chicken doesn't seem to be taking any food, I just realized. Um, I'm probably going to have to get rid of those lightning rods there. Is my horse asleep? Wake up. You've got work to do. I'm going to put you there. Sell these. Should have kept that iridium quality one, but it doesn't matter really. I'm going to get rid of the normal quality goat's cheese and I'm going to keep the good stuff. I think. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright. Um, interesting day, to say the least. Good boy. Um, so, let's head to bed before 11. We're going to have a full energy bar for tomorrow, which is going to be great. It's going to be Friday, which means traveling merchant. I mustn't forget this time because I did last time. 65,000 gold! Holy smokes! And 27 of that was from the star fruit. That makes me very, very happy boy. <laughs> now gold is no issue. We can upgrade either the coop or the barn. Probably the barn would be a better idea so that we can start getting pigs. Because we've got enough uh, gold, we've got enough wood too as well now. Fantastic. Alright, lots and lots of money there. Very good. Weather report. Uh, it's going to snow tomorrow, that's fine. And fortune teller, spirits are in good humour. We could go mining, but we don't have anything to mine with. Alright, hello. 
Um, I thought it would be really fun to send you a letter. Oh, he sent me some pepper poppers to replace the pepper popper that I ate last time. That's pretty good. Okay, um, what did I do all last- Oh yeah, I, I, I spent it all chopping down trees, didn't I? Which is fine. Let's go take a look and see if anything is happening in here. Uh, nothing just yet. No sweet gem berries. Nothing on these. I can't remember what these plants are, but I guess I will one day. Um, even the... Huh. The beets are starting to grow, but the star fruit haven't. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, okay. So, plan for today. It's Friday. I'm going to start with the traveling merchant and see what she's got. Please have either a poppy or poppy seeds. It'll be great. She's got a sweet gem berry for 15,000, which is fine, but... I would get it, but I'm growing some. Um, yeah, she's got pepper seeds. I might even get it. No, not for 500. Yeah, stuff like that. If we want pepper seeds, we can make some because we've got some in the gift chest from or for um, for Lewis still. All right, that was disappointing. Anyway, time to get my animals all sorted out, I guess. Oh, we've got mail. How did I miss the mail? Uh, I'm researching the forgotten art of shadow divination. I require an item known as a Void Essence. Bring it to me and you'll be rewarded. Alright, I can do that. I never go and visit him anyway, so I guess it's worth a try. Worth a try. As if, like, I have to try and visit him. Like a bad, or like a relative that you just don't want to see anymore. It's like, oh, I'll try and visit, you know? Alright, well, uh, let's take a Void Essence with us so we don't forget. I'm also going to take an Iridium Quality Egg for Alex. I'm going to take those for Leah and Robin. Uh, Gus, you know what? Yeah, let's make it a... A, uh, a, a gifting day. Haley, Sam, um, Harvey as well. We need to brew up some more coffee, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's good, really. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's head on into town and see who we can find. Oh, I'm going to start taking diamonds for Gus, actually, because I know diamond, uh, Gus likes diamonds. Um, so let's take all of our diamonds. Heck, why not? I think maybe Pierre likes them as well. No, I don't think he does. I can't remember. I really don't know. First things first, let's go see Harvey in the hospital. He is working, which is fine. I don't want to eat the egg. <laughs> uh, let's give him his coffee. You are welcome, my friend. Now let's see if we can hunt down Alex. He's one of the more elusive people because I, I just, well, I just never see him. Could have got a fairy rose for uh, Evelyn, but didn't think about that. Or Jazz, didn't think about that either. Alex out there, out back there working out. No, I can get into his room now, though, which is good, I guess. Uh, he's probably gone to the gym, so let's head on over there and see if we can find him. We'll also drop some stuff off to, like, Demetrius and uh, Maru. I, I don't think I'm actually gifting Maru anymore, am I? Maru, no, I don't need to. Hurrah! <clears throat> Hurraru! <laughs> I'm hilarious. I don't know how people don't find me more funny. Actually, I do, but that's that's depressing. Oh, there goes Alex. That was uh, good timing, wasn't it, buddy? Uh, let's give you your egg. Iridium quality, so we get extra friendship points for liked or loved gifts. Robin! That's for you. Uh, I actually need to come back with some stuff for you. Uh, Demetrius, you get that. I did bring anything for Sebastian, I'm afraid. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to get some stone and some wood, and I'm going to start upgrading my barn, I think. Horse is glitched out. There we go. Sometimes the horse will just like float. It's really quite bizarre. Uh, Linus, here is your yam. Oop, there you go. All right, let's head back into town and see if we can find uh, Leah, Vincent, uh, Lewis, Crobus, Willie, Haley, Sam, uh, Gus. <laughs> Basically, a lot of people. Um, that we can gift still, which is pretty fantastic, I guess, because it gives us purpose to collecting stuff. Oh, we've got a quest on the board here as well, actually. Um, eight gold ores. No. Um, actually, I think Jody is someone that loves the diamonds, so there we go. Give the, jo uh, give the Jody a diamond. <laughs> Good job, Dale. Uh, it's 12 p.m. Oh, hang on, there goes Lewis. Uh, 12 p.m. means we can start getting stuff at the saloon, so it means we'll be able to talk to Gus, which means he can take his diamond. So let's go in there. Here he comes. Let's intercept him. Boom. There you go. Speechless. Yeah, I know, right? It's a priceless piece of... I don't, I don't know. Diamond, I guess. Pri priceless 
I don't know. Stop talking, Dale. Okay, Dale. There you go, Sam. Yep, I know you like cactus fruit. Okay, we got Haley. Haley is in the kitchen. She can have a co 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 coconut. Lovely. That's my favorite thing. Yep, I know. So we still got to see Krobus and Willy. So since we're right near them, that makes it easier. Uh, so let's go down here and go see Krobus in the sewers. It's a Friday as well. Do I get an Iridium Sprinkler? I have plenty of money. I actually feel... Oh, new achievement. Popular. Okay, cool. I'm actually... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the Iridium Sprinkler. Every Friday he sells one for 10,000 gold. I think it's worth it. So I'm getting it. Okay, last but not least, let's go... Let's go see Willy. Well, let's walk because uh, the horse can't fit between the tree and the bush apparently. Okay. Oh, and Leah. We've got a present for Leah as well. I need to start visiting Elliot more. Oh, I'm such a bad friend. We've got stuff for Vincent as well. I didn't realize how many gifts we've still got. I thought I'd done. Apparently, I was wrong. Here you go, Willy. Yeah, if only my old pappy was around to see a pumpkin. Okay, so let's see. We've got Marnie, uh, the wizard, Leah, and Vincent. Really is all we've got left. Okay, I can do that. Here you go, Marnie. Bought this for you. Yep, incredible gift. I just realized it's getting quite late. If I don't leave it, or if I don't leave for uh, Robin soon, then I won't be able to get, um, hello. I won't be able to get my barn upgrade. Okay, there you go, Leah. You are welcome. Uh, we can have about an hour-ish. I can do the wizard afterwards, I think. So I'm gonna focus on the barn upgrade now, um, and probably take the bus to Robbins. Is that going to be the quickest way, I guess? I don't know, maybe going on the horse north would be quicker. Uh, but all I know is it's going to be close. Alright, it's now about to switch over to four, so I think I've missed her, but I can still get her on the way past. Yes! <laughs> I love that, I really do. Construct a farm building, please. Robin, I wish to upgrade to a deluxe barn. Houses 12 barn dwelling animals, comes with an auto feed system, Unlocks sheeps and pigs. Sheeps and pigs, not sheep and pigs. So let's upgrade this barn. Thank you very much. And that will take a couple of days to complete. But take my money. There you go. All right. Just managed to pull that off, which was fantastic. So now I've got to go gift stuff to other people. Well, it's just the wizard, really. He just wants... Um, he just wants a void essence. So I'll go see him, I guess. All right. Here we are. And here you are. A thousand gold reward. Now go. Oh. He, he didn't just want a gift. Like, he couldn't just give me friendship points or anything. That's that's a bit sad. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go into the secret woods, chop down the uh, the stumps, and uh, get a bit more uh, get a bit more hardwood. Alright, that was uh, that was alright, I guess. Uh, let's put the gifts back in, which we didn't use. Um, we will quickly... Wow, I was trying to walk through my horse there. We'll quickly get rid of the Iridium Sprinkler. And by get rid of it, I mean store it, of course. And I think everything else has a home. We have enough stone to upgrade the coop next, but we don't have enough wood now. Um, in fact, that <laughs> left us with six wood. We only just had enough to do that. Um, I would have actually been kind of mad if I got there and I was a little bit shy, but doesn't matter. It is done now. It is still only eight o'clock. Um, I wonder, who else goes to the pub tonight that we need to level up? Pam, we don't need to, okay, Caroline, no, Maru, no, no, none of those. Uh, Jody, we've already done today, Sebastian, I think Sebastian goes there. Evelyn, no, Willie, we've already done today. Uh, Clint, yeah, we could do Clint. Maybe Elliot, but I don't have anything for Elliot. Um... Pierre, maybe? Okay, so... Why did I get on my horse just to go that that distance? I've already forgotten. Clint, um... We'll take him like an emerald or ruby or something. And Sebastian, a frozen tear. Okay, yeah, that'll do. So let's go there real quick. Alright, so who was it? It was Sebastian and it was Clint. That was it, really. Um, Sam, I think I already gifted today, so that's fine. Um, and... Clint, where are you, buddy? You're down there. Okay, it's exactly what I've been looking for. Pierre, I'm sorry, I could have given you something, but I don't know what to give you. Money, look, yeah, everyone else have already done today, so that's fine. Okay, um, I mean, it's nine o'clock. I could do a little bit of 
collecting stuff. I guess I'm going to chop down some more trees on my farm. Kind of makes sense. Um, we need to clear the, the way eventually, so I guess that's what I'm going to spend the last bit of my time and energy on doing today. Uh, again, that's a bit boring, so I won't make you guys endure that. And since I'm here and I've revealed it, I may as well uh, interact with this. Okay, so here we have Daza. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Oh yes, so he has left us a note on this uh, little shrine type thing. So we of course will wait until year two is over before seeing what that is all about. And that is mainly the reason why I want this, this Let's Play to last two years, like in-game, not real time. God, could you imagine me doing this game? Doing the same game for two years? God, what kind of a horrible Let's Play would that be? All right, I think I'm done here. Yeah, it looks pretty done to me. So let's grab everything up. It's getting late anyway. You know, we got 250 wood there, which is pretty fantastic. Wrong chest. Uh, still the wrong chest. <laughs> uh, it's this one all along. It was, it was this one all along. Okay, there we go. So let's hit the snooze button. And of course, tomorrow we will get our Iridium pickaxe, our first Iridium tool. Today, I don't think we even sold anything. Did we? Oh yeah, of course we sold some artisan goods and some newspaper. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and of course, I will see you all next time, where we end the first half of winter. Thanks once again for watching. See you all then. Bye-bye.